Hi everybody. We are going to create this scene by using Terror War 2023, Terraformer Shader, and Terror Templates Package. Today I'm going to demonstrate how Terror War 2023, Terraformer Shader, and Terror Templates work together. The first step is opening a URP project, since most of our users use URP in the Unity engine. But if you're interested in HDRP, don't worry. After the URP project, I will show you the HDRP project as well. Let's just name the project Terra Unity and then we create the project. Okay, the project is created, so let's start. In the first step, we are going to import Terra World Templates package. You can get this package from its asset store page. Now that the package is imported, head into the scenes folder and select asset scene. All the models of the templates which are in this package are placed on this demo scene. As you can see, the models on this tile are used in the realistic grassland templates. We have two sorts of templates, realistic and a stylish. Now it is time to import Terror World 2023 into our project. This is Terror World 2023 asset store page. If you would like to see how Terror World 2023 works, Check out the videos on this page, and you can read the package description and instructions as well. Now let's open the package manager. Now we are going to download Terror War 2023. Once the download is finished, we have to click on import so that the package is imported into the project. Now that the package is imported, let's open a new scene in order to use Terror War 2023. In order to use Terror War 2023, first you have to open the plugin from the tools menu up top. At the current version, Without the templates package, the software only has the Stylish Forest template. But since we added the template package, you can see we have various templates loaded and ready to be used under the graph section. So let's generate a world by using the Realistic Forest template. Before the generation of the scene is completed, I'm going to stop the generation in order to show you the graph section. In order to view the graph, under the graph section, click on Custom then click on edit. This is the graph section. In this section, the nodes create your scene in a chain-based function. Now let's choose a location to generate in Terror War 2023. We use locations in Switzerland in our videos since they have high resolution height map and land cover data. I have already selected a location to generate, so I'm going to enter its coordinates. Let's change the scale and generate the area. This is the area which is generated by Realistic Forest Template. Now I am going to import Terraformer Shader into this project. This is Terraformer's asset store page which you can read the package description and watch all the videos related to the package. The second video covers all the features of Terraformer and showcases two demo scenes which Terraformer features are applied on them. Let's download the package first. Once the download is finished, import the package into your project. As soon as the package is imported, this folder is added to the project. You can read the files and help and documentation folder so that you know how to use the Terraformer shader. For HDRP projects, click on import me HDRP. And for URP projects, click on import me URP. Under the demo scene folder, you will see two downloaders. As soon as you click on each of these downloaders, the selected demo scene will be downloaded and opened. But right now, since we have the demo scene packages, we are going to import them manually. First, I'm going to import the island demo package. And now, I'm going to import the mountain demo package as well. Time to open the island demo scene. This is the island demo scene in URP. Both the island and mountain demo scenes are available in the HDRP as well, so don't worry. And this is the mountain demo scene. You can view the HDRP versions of these demos in our YouTube channel as well. Now, I'm going to show you a new Terraformer feature 
which is called Terraformer Manager. Terraformer Manager lets you manage the trains and train layers in the scene. As you can see, there aren't any train layers added to the Terraformer Manager. So in front of the train layers, it says zero train layers. Now we are going to replace the train layers of our scene with the train layers in our demo scenes by using the Terraformer Manager. Let's add the train layers first. Since Terraward supports 8 train layers at the moment, we are going to add 8 train layers only. Now I'm going to assign random train layers to each of these slots so that you are able to see how Terraformer Manager works. Once all the train layers are assigned, I'm going to click on update in order to apply the train layers to the scene. And as you can see, the train layers are applied on the previous train layers. Now, let's switch to the HDRP version of the same area. This is the exact same spot in an HDRP project. And Terror 2023 will automatically convert the materials and the templates, both for HDRP and URP pipelines. In addition to Terraformer package which is released, we have an upcoming shaders package for vegetation and objects rendering, which we use to render all vegetation and ward items in the scene. It will come with features like procedural wind and snow, distance fade, translucency, satellite image blending, and geom blending to blend models with train and any intersected geometry plus many other high-end features, as you can see some of them in this video. Now let's show you some random spots and wander around in this area that we generated. Let's check the scene in the build as well. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your love and support. Until the next video, bye.